scientists have said that humans can't wrap our heads around how massive the universe is. While they may never map out the entire space, it doesn't stop them from trying to explore it. Since the early days of NASA, astronauts have gone to the moon, observed Mars through robot-controlled rovers and discovered many planets orbiting beyond the solar system. Researchers have recently come forward and said they've made an interesting discovery in regards to Saturn. Saturn is perhaps known for its iconic rings, which are the most bright and biggest in the solar system. Saturn will, however, not maintain this look, as data has shown us the planet is losing its rings. Astronomers reported that the rings have no more than 100 million years before they disappear, which is a relatively short time considering Saturn is over 4 billion years old. NASA researchers report that Saturn's rings are made up of ice water, and what's currently happening is they are being ripped apart. James O'Donoghue, a lead researcher at NASA, said in a statement that the rings are being drained, and around an Olympic-sized swimming pool of water is being drained from the rings every half an hour. He added that at this rate Saturn's entire ring system will disappear in 300 million years. However, measurements of the ring's material falling into the equator of Saturn by the Cassini spacecraft suggest the rings will be gone in less than 100 million years. Scientists have long debated the origin of these rings, with some suggesting they go back to 4 billion years ago to the same time as Saturn and the entire solar system, while others propose that the rings formed around the planets many years after its formation. This study, however, indicates that the ring formation occurred less than 100 million years ago, O'Donoghue continued to say that if these rings are temporary, we may have missed out to see Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune's giant ring systems which are currently thin ringlets. Data collected from the Cassini spacecraft discovered that the ring rain was a heavy downpour. The Cassini iron and neutral mass spectrometer sniffed out the area between Saturn and its closest rings the D-ring, and scientists determined that organic compounds are releasing chemical cocktails of grains of dust from the D-ring. The spectrum meter revealed that the rings are made up of water, ammonia, molecular nitrogen, methane, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. Hunter Waite, a principal investigator of the Cassini spacecraft, said they were able to measure the particles of the rings because they hit the spacecraft at very high speeds, which caused their vaporization. He added that the constituents are falling from the rings so fast at 10,000 kilograms of material every second. According to Thomas Gravens, an astronomy and physics professor at the University of Kansas, if the rings do not somehow get new material, they will gradually drain away at some point. Saturn is almost 900 million miles from the Sun, which is around 10 times as far as the distance of the Earth from the Sun. While Saturn's day takes almost 10.7 hours, its one year is almost 29 Earth years and its size is around 700 times that of Earth. Is currently aligned with the Earth and the Sun, which gives us a great view of this planet and some of its moons. Through telescopes, Saturn's moons and its rings can be observed. Researchers have recently observed two invisible stars bending space-time deep in the Milky Way. Astronomers observed a strange phenomenon from the Gaia Space Observatory between July and August 2016. A fairway star that mysteriously became brighter and then dimmed. After a few weeks, it again brightened and then dimmed. This mysterious behavior was not anything of the star's own making, but instead the gravity of an object that was unseen between planet Earth and itself. It was magnifying the light of the star as it passed through. Scientists have now identified the invisible object, a binary star that is too dim to be seen 2,544 light years away. But based on how the gravity of the star is magnifying light, Researchers were able to study this system's distant mass and orbit. They say that these techniques could be applied in the location of other hidden objects in the galaxy of the Milky Way. According to the team of researchers, the main clue on the nature of the system was how the source object repeatedly brightened and dimmed. The event was from that time named Gaia 16 AYE. An astronomer at the University of Poland said that with one single lens caused by one object, one would observe only a small steady increase in brightness, followed by a small reduction as the lens crosses at the front of the source and then goes away. 
In this particular case, the brightness of the star did not only drop sharply instead of smoothly, but it also became brighter again after some weeks, which is strange. After observations for over 500 days, the researchers said that they saw it increase and reduce in brightness five times. This was suggesting a binary object giving out gravitational microlens, an effect which Einstein predicted occurring when the gravitational pull of a foreground object causes the bending of space-time, resulting in the magnification of an object behind it. This would allow for the study of distant objects on a larger scale. However, the smaller lenses could also be useful. In the Gaia 16 AYE case, the microlens constituted of a complex network of regions of high magnification. According to Dr. Morgs, an astronomer formerly at the University of Warsaw and currently at the California Institute of Technology, the binary system cannot be seen at all. However, they were able to predict everything about it after seeing the effects it caused by acting as a lens in front of a star. If microlensing cases like this can make invisible stars be seen, they have the potential to uncover even more mysterious cosmic phenomena. Astronomers hope that these techniques will assist in the search of black holes. Astronomers have observed oxygen in G09.83808. Researchers from the University of Texas and Leiden University discovered a new method of mapping faraway galaxies. Through the observation of an oxygen fingerprint in a faraway galaxy, something that is normally not possible from planet Earth. In their research, the astronomers used the spectral line of atomic oxygen, which in normal scenarios cannot be viewed from terrestrial telescopes. However, because the light comes from faraway galaxies, it made it stretch making it measurable from our planet. To detect galaxy G09.83808, which stems billions of light years after the Big Bang making it one of the universe's oldest galaxies. Researchers had to point the telescope in one particular place for two hours. Going forward, astronomers would want to map galaxies further away based on the oxygen line, as they have already discovered that the Observatory of Chile would require only 10 to 15 minutes to observe a faraway galaxy in detail. Researchers have in recent years discovered even more galaxies in the early universe. Research using spectral lines would be required to obtain details about the circumstances that prevailed at that moment. Scientists have until now used ionized carbon lines and ionized oxygen lines. However, these combinations make interpretation difficult. The new spectral line of atomic oxygen has been seen as a holy grail for over 20 years. However, the galaxies have been very distant. For the nearer galaxies, the light coming from the oxygen line does not go through the atmosphere of the Earth. For the distant galaxies, however, very good telescopes placed in a high and dry place will be required. At the moment, astronomers are now able to observe faraway galaxies using the atomic oxygen spectral lines. The results of these studies were so astonishing that they found their way to the scientific world very quickly. As in normal occurrences, scientific results would take one to two years to be published. But on the contrary, these results were approved for publishing within the first two months. Matos Ribas, a lead researcher at the Leiden Observatory at the Netherlands Leiden University, said that they did their observations at the end of October 2019, and that by January 2020 they had already obtained approval for publication. According to him, the world of astronomy has been looking forward to news like this. Spectral lines are similar to atomic fingerprints that have the capacity of identifying atoms and molecules in a star. They are seen as black lines that cut across a spectrum of visible light originating from a source. Scientists can detect the spectral lines in their source by isolating the light and slitting it through a prism, similar to a rainbow. Due to the different energy levels of the atom ions and molecules, they exhibit different lines when absorbing light photons. The astronomers insist the observations are owed to the staff members of the Chile telescope who were very alert. One of the staff on seeing the coming of weather that would be exceptionally good, controlled the telescope himself. As of right now, scientists are carrying out more research. 
scientists have said there's many discoveries waiting to be made out in the universe, and every year we learn something new. Most of these discoveries aren't fully understood, but the world's best scientists and researchers have done a great job so far at unraveling some of the universe's greatest mysteries. So what do you make of these interesting space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.